What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we're going to go over a new released product. The Echo PB2520 handheld blower. So we're going to give you some specs of this, let you see this thing work in action. And uh, I've had this for, for a little while now. Uh, one of the benefits of being a UAG member is getting products a little early to test out and let Echo know our opinions on them. That way if they need to make any changes or anything before they actually release the product, then it gives them time to do that. So this thing is excellent, guys. We're going to go into some uh, specs here and show you the blowing capacity of this bad boy and give you some of the great features that this has so if you want to know more about uh the echo uag it's a user advisory group then go check out echomeansbusiness.com to learn more Right, guys so this is going to be a cold start this morning it was about 35 degrees out i think that's about what it is right now actually so the first thing you're going to want to do is i prime it i prime it several times then you're just going to move your choke up make sure you're on run Right, guys let's go over some specs of this thing tell you a little bit about what i like and what i don't like so i really do like that it has a what i consider a cruise control so you can literally move this all the way up while you're there and you know pull the trigger set it where you want it and boom it'll stay there you don't have to continue to hold the trigger another thing that i like about this is the power it has to be so small it really has a lot of power it sips the gas and when i say sips the gas i mean sips the gas this is by no means a gas guzzler at all now let's go over some of the things i do not like about this one of the things i don't like is i'm right-handed so i'm holding it with my right hand a lot any loose clothing i have wants to come and stick to this so you have to keep that in mind and watch that now of course they do have this guard there so you're not going to block it up and it's still going to be able to get air in there but just watch your loose clothing especially on a windy day when your clothes are loose could blow and get up against this and cause some of the uh, take some of the air away that it's pulling in another thing that i really don't like about it is when you start it up you really have to let it warm up for a couple of minutes and when i say a couple of minutes i mean a minute to two minutes before you're really going to get this to kick into the high rpm range to where it's putting out all of its max power that it's going to be doing but 
other than that i really love this thing i take it with me on a daily basis because when it comes to doing sidewalks small residential properties and things like that i'd much rather have this and save the gas than i would pull my backpack blower off the rack and continue to use all of that power that i don't really need on my smaller properties so this thing really does come in handy now let's go over some specs of this guys 453 cfm 170 miles per hour 70 decibels loud now you're still going to need earplugs but guess what this thing is very lightweight very quiet so you're really not going to aggravate any of the neighbors as you would pulling off your big blower that's my review of this product guys if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i'll absolutely love this thing be watching for it it'll be coming out in uh, dealerships november to december and you can find it on echo's website starting 2018